what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i have been kind of gone for a little bit i filmed a drive with me but that's not really vlogging so i don't really count that as vlogging it feels different whenever you hold a vlog camera and actually vlog um i've just kind of been adapting to the new year trying to figure out what i want to do what i want to accomplish and that kind of stuff but i've been really focusing on my actual business which is filming weddings and special events like that if you guys have been following me you guys know that's my other job but i I don't know, I wanted to vlog today. I'm filming a Valentine's Day lookbook video. This is one of the outfits, just kidding. This is just what I'm in for now until Bobby gets off work, but I wanted to film another Valentine's Day lookbook video because I love filming those videos and I love the outfits that are involved, so I'm doing another one. This will be the third one that I put on my YouTube channel. I will link the other two down below, but that video, I don't know when I'm gonna put it up. Today's February 1st, so want to upload it probably next week sometime but i don't even i don't even know if i'm going to be able to finish all the outfits today so we'll figure it out um i'm not really worried about it but i just really wanted to film a valentine's day lookbook video this year just because they're just so much fun for me to film and i love outfit videos i love fashion videos that's actually something that i want to do more of this year um, on my youtube channel is like more fashion based videos because i'm not in school anymore you guys loved the college vlogs and i can't give you them anymore so gonna think of more content more exciting and fun content can i go can i go <laughs> she knows her name if you guys are new here my name is julia and i would love for you to subscribe because you're already here so why not so at the end of this video you will see a picture of me and if you click on it you can subscribe right from there also don't forget to turn on my post notifications that way you're updated every time i post a new video and you're watching the disney channel can i go I got mixed feelings that she wanted to be in the video real quick before we get into the vlog i wanted to show you guys something that i got in the mail yesterday that i'm super super excited about i am a videographer i film weddings and i have a business called capture life films if you guys want to follow me on instagram it's at capture life films um if you guys are getting married let me know hit me up i filmed a wedding back in december i actually vlogged me filming that wedding because it was during vlogmas ariel the dog is barking right now so hopefully you guys could hear me but yeah this is my wedding shooting Outfit. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't get up. <laughs> no, it was perfect. Yeah, I didn't get up. Ceremony is gonna start soon, so I will talk to you guys later. I have to go mic the groom. Gotta make sure you can hear those vows. We're almost ready for reception time. We just had our dinner. We had salmon. salmon. But their wedding was beautiful. It was cold, but beautiful. And I wanted to do something special from now on for my clients whenever I am delivering their wedding. So I purchased a USB drive case, which has my logo on it, Capture Life Films. And then when you open it, it's like magnetic, it's really cool. Um, the little things. When you open it, here is their USB drive with their wedding video on it, as well as their highlight, first look, whatever they got in their package. It has my logo on the front of the USB, and then if you take it out, this little loop here, it's easy access to take the USB drive out. It's really cool because when you open the USB drive, it's actually magnetic. Like, how cool is that? I don't know. Like, I find the littlest things super what's the word super satisfying and then when you flip it over it says amy and neil which is the couple that i shot the wedding in december for i just thought i needed to step up my game and become more professional and i have been over the last year i honestly have come a long way um, since i started filming weddings when i was a senior in high school which i didn't even know if that's what i wanted to do yet my cousin was getting married and they weren't hiring a videographer and she just asked me since she knew i was into like video and stuff in high school if i wanted to try it out I did, I loved it, but at that time I was only using one camera, one tripod, no microphone equipment, like I literally had no idea what I was doing. It turned out fine, but I learned a lot from that experience. I ended up interning, dude, I ended up interning with a wedding videographer over the summer of 2019. Um, I learned a lot from that so I just feel really I just think it's super cool how far I've come since the beginning of this journey of filming weddings and since I have been filming weddings every single one I have taken a step up gotten more equipment tried different things and whatever so I'm really excited for them to receive this USB super cool oh and I forgot to mention the reason I picked this color because if you notice it's not the exact same color blue as the 
logo that I have on the front of the case. Um, I'm actually going to be making these USBs like the same color as the bridesmaids dresses and like the groomsmen ties and stuff like that. I thought that would be a really cool idea just because it goes with like the whole theme of their wedding and it's personalized just to their wedding. So I thought that would be a nice touch. So I decided to do the light blue because their bridesmaids dresses were that color. And this is my exact logo, exact coloring and everything on the case. So it's just so cool. It's like I finally have a brand. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. If you're interested in following me on my Instagram for Capture Life Films, it's just at Capture Life Films. Um, I'm trying to post a little bit more regularly on there because I have a lot of plans for this year on that Instagram page. So yeah, also follow me on my personal account, which you guys hopefully already are, but it's just at Julia Drenovich. Um, kind of hard to spell, but I will put it right here if you care to follow me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say right now. Um, I wanted to show you guys the outfits for the Valentine's Day lookbook. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them today. I'm going to try to do like three. I think I have one, two, I have five outfits. Sometimes I put together like a last minute sixth one. I don't know. Probably not going to do that many. I have a bunch of outfits laid out on my bed to show you guys. Um, a kind of a sneak peek, but I'm not going to show you guys them entirely because then that would be giving away like the lookbook video Even though that video is just going to be like edited really cool music blah 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 It's not going to be like a vlog, but yeah, so that's pretty much the plan for today But Bobby gets off work at 1 today is Saturday. Did I mention that probably doesn't even matter? <laughs> I don't know how to vlog anymore uh, Okay, yeah, so First, can we talk about how cute this Michael Kors purse is? I actually got it at Marshall's for like 60 bucks. Had to get it. It really doesn't match much, but like Valentine's Day kind of goes with the whole aesthetic. So picked it out for this video. But my mom is ironing a white shirt that goes with this. But I decided to get these like checkered black and white pants, which I actually had similar ones last year for my Valentine's Day lookbook. But they're a little bit different, so it's fine. And then I have this adorable heart... Um, belt here to go around that but yeah like i said there's a white shirt that goes with that this is a really cute heartbreaker little tank top um it's a little bit big so i'm gonna have to like tie the back somehow but i thought it would be super cute with these barrettes um these have been really trendy it's like a 90s vibe and then these are like super huge mom jeans that i actually don't like on me but we're gonna try them i don't know i got them from shein i don't think you should get jeans from there but <laughs> We're gonna try it and then this is like one of my favorites. I don't know if this belt's gonna look cute with it or not I just thought that would look cute together. Maybe not now that I'm looking at it That's kind of stupid, but this is actually like a long corduroy not t-shirt, but like long sleeve dress I guess but I wanted to wear this with Timberlands. It'll look cuter on I promise I really thought this was cool because of all the colors like color blocking and stuff like that And then I have this from when I was like a baby I don't know if I can do something with this maybe tie it around my neck or like make it a scarf I don't know. This is a jacket that I got from Target actually it's showing up a little bit more orange on camera, but I got it from Target. It's like a cute little puffer jacket so I don't know if I'm actually gonna pair this with anything but it is kind of like Valentine's Day -y, so I have it out just in case but now that I'm looking at it like this is red this is not red on camera but I promise it's kind of red in person <laughs> that's really awkward I don't know this dress is actually one of my favorites it's so cute it has a little belt with a heart and then I didn't know if I wanted to wear it with like this hat or this hat they're both black this is the one that I had in last year's Valentine's Day lookbook my little taxi driver hat I usually wear this hat like in the fall time but we can try and make it work with this outfit I thought that would be cute and then I have white booties to go with that as well I have this um it's gonna be hard to show up and like hold but I actually wore this in an Instagram picture already, but it's like a mesh polka dot black sheer shirt from Forever 21. It actually ties up on the side. That's a really cute trend right now. And I paired that with these Revice denim jeans that I got for Christmas. They're like light denim wash on the front and black denim wash on the back. They're really cool and unique. I've been looking into Revice jeans for the longest time, so I'm really excited that I finally have a pair. So we're at Giant Eagle. I sent Bobby in to get me a bouquet of flowers because it's kind of awkward sometimes when you film a video and you don't have anything to hold so I always try to like give myself something to hold while we're shooting just so that it's like a little bit less awkward but I didn't want to go in because I'm wearing my dress like my first outfit under this coat and it looks like I have no pants on because I'm wearing like a longer coat so I sent Bobby in there I did give him money though he's not buying these like for me for the video because I felt bad because like this is for me like this is for my video so I gave him money to go get me some flowers and I told him I was like just get me whatever you think that you would get me for Valentine's Day so thank you are they like five bucks? Kind of. Should I give you more? Nope. Bobby. The guy next to us has like a huge bouquet of balloons. 
Is that what they're called? A bouquet of balloons? I don't even know. Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. Seriously, I will give you money for the rest of it. Just buy me a couple drinks. Okay. I don't want to take my coat off. It always like turns out cute though. That's what I keep telling myself. Okay. This little dress is from Pretty Little Thing. Link it below. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to wear my filas or these shoes with this outfit, but I, I think I'm gonna do both. Couple shots with both. Oh baby now, let me warm you up. Baby please, let me love you much. Come on, come on with me, baby. In the actual video of my Valentine's Day lookbook, you guys will see like clips and stuff, but you won't see where I got things. So yeah, that means you have to watch this video too. I got this from Pretty Little Thing and the top is a little bit big, not gonna lie. Kinda sucks, see look, I'm like literally swimming in the top, but whenever I like sit up straight, it kinda helps. But in the video clips, you wouldn't have been able to tell, right? Like it looked like- I think your boobs look great. Oh, stop. <laughs> Yeah. 